hey, I'm Jack Nicholson. No, I'm not. I'm Fred Saxon. And when I'm not talking to the stars, I'm watching Live Fit magazine. Who wouldn't? You know, Jack told me, always wear sunglasses. You get the best pictures that way. We're getting ready for the Oscars on this edition of Live Fit Magazine. Hey everyone, I'm Phoebe Chong Chua. It's hair, fashion, beauty, fun, my kind of show. I think she's Oscar ready. I, I think so too. What do you think, guys? <laughs> and Oscar picks on this glam edition of Live Fit Magazine, plus award-winning TV personality Fred Saxon shares his Hollywood stories and moments with the stars. Also, Andy Friedenberg, director of the Cinema Society in San Diego, gives us his Oscar picks for the 84th Academy Awards and beauty secrets from salon owner Haim Knister and a San Diego pageant winner, plus party drinks from flavor all on Live Fit magazine. Well, this is the fun part. We are in Heim Salon in the Del Mar Plaza, and we're getting some spectacular beauty tips from Sonia. Kelsey's our model, and Heim, of course, the owner. Welcome, everyone. Hello. Good morning. Hello. So tell me a little bit about what you need to do to prep, say, the night before. A lot of people are getting dolled up right now for mm -hmm. the Oscars but there's some tricks that you can do the night before. Yes, absolutely. It's always, always important to um, do an exfoliation the night before, doing an eye treatment to soften any puffiness, any wrinkles, any things like that. You also want to moisturize the skin, keep it very hydrated to give you that nice, like glowing and sheen, um, dewy look in the morning before a, a major event like that so that it'll last all day long. Kelsey definitely has that. And when you start with perfection like this, Kelsey, you're gorgeous. So Thank thanks you. for doing it. And you are um, coming in to get a, a hair makeover. And Haim, you were saying something that's really important. If women want to get dolled up for the Oscars, they ought to bring in what? Their their gowns? They, they bring the gowns, bring the accessories that they have at home. What are you going to wear that day? The jewels, the... Uh, flowers if they want to wear, uh, the, you know, bring the whole look to the salon. Therefore, we can tell better by looking at the whole picture, design the hairstyle to fit. So what are you going to be doing with her? With Kelsey, we're going to do, she's wearing a really nice long, very tight on the top and loose at the bottom. Uh, so what we're going to do, a classic uh, French twist on her. And um, it'll be gorgeous. She'll wear some nice jewels and nice earrings. So we want to take away, sometimes the hair is done so much mm -hmm. that it takes away from the whole look. So you want to balance that. And so hair and clothes and makeup should go as a, as a one, you know, unit rather than, you know, all over the place. We're doing it too much. Yeah. And as far as makeup, will you go with, um, really bright lips, what type of makeup will you do? You know, just like Haim said, it's important to bring your gown in because as a makeup artist, I take a lot of inspiration by using the color of the gown. And um, sometimes the lip is heavier and more exaggerated depending on the style of the dress and the look. Um, sometimes we like to play out the eyes a little bit more and make them more intense according to her eye color and the gorgeous tone of her dress. Eyes. Of Kelsey, course. you have gorgeous <laughs> Thank eyes. You. So are you looking forward to seeing the makeover? Yes, of course. Very excited. <laughs> Everybody's wondering who the picks are going to be for Oscars, and I'll tell you what, we have the inside scoop from the person who knows. Let's go to Andy Friedenberg for more on who his top picks are. Thank you, Phoebe. As the founder and director of the Cinema Society of San Diego, the city's longest running cinema organization, and as a proud member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, here are my picks for the top five categories for the 84th Annual Academy Awards. For best performance by an actress in a leading role, I'm going with, it's a two-person race between Meryl Streep and uh, Viola Davis in The Help. I think Viola Davis has it for The Help. For best performance by an actor in a leading role, again, a two-person race between George Clooney for The Descendants and Jean Dujardin for The Artist. I'm going with George Clooney for The Descendants. In best performance by an actor in a supporting role, it's a done deal. Christopher Plummer has it for beginners. And for best performance by an actress in a supporting role, again, it's a lock for Octavia Spencer for The Help. And for best picture of the year, I would be shocked if the artist did not win in this category, beating out eight other contenders. This is America's most prestigious film organization. And to wrap their arms around 
a film that is a valentine to the early days of cinema makes a great deal of sense. So I'm going with the artist for best picture. So, you know, I went to the Oscars one year and listening to Andy, I know that Andy goes every year to the Oscars practically through a lottery that he somehow wins every year. <laughs> but when I went, it was for the Titanic. And let me tell you, I was actually bored, Sonia. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you like the Oscars? Do you watch? I watch red carpet, most definitely. Sometimes it does get a little boring and, you know, I pop in and every once in a while just to see the gowns, the hair, the makeup, of course, and just to see the glamour mostly. Yeah. All right, Andy, what about you? You like the red carpet? I do, and I'm going this year. And the, the, the real excitement is, of course, on the red carpet. Uh, it is so exciting to hobnob and be shoulder to shoulder with those uh, stars uh, from all the nominated films. But once you're inside the Kodak Theater, you might as well be home in your pajamas watching it on your local, t on your home TV, because you just sit there and the only break you have is during uh, the commercial breaks when you go to the restroom and that's the most exciting thing other than sitting there watching it. They have giant monitors. You get to see uh, people in tuxedos sweep the floors during the commercial breaks and that's the most exciting thing about being there. Other than that, you, you could be at home and be much more comfortable. Hi, I'm Gabrielle at Flavor Del Mar. Are you hosting an Oscar party at your house? I'll show you how to mix up some fabulous cocktails next on Live Fit Magazine. Here we go. So the economy is pretty tough. So the economy is really tough. The economy is pretty tough. Always searching for a day job. It's a great job. But I'm a little concerned about the commute. India is really far away. Hmm? Raw talent? Looking for a new career? Get cooking. Be a chef. San Diego Culinary Institute. The school for creative people who also want to make a good living. Visit sdculinary.com. Learn how to become a professional chef. Who brought the funny? Hi, I'm Cynthia Dial. Welcome back to Live Fit Magazine. Now, I am here with two beautiful girls, veterans of the beauty pageant scene. And I'm going to introduce them, and it's Lynette and Kayla. Now, Lynette, you are Miss South Bay. That's so right. tell us a little bit about what that means to the community. You're pretty much an ambassador for your community. I represent Bonita, Chula Vista, San Ysidro, anywhere in South Bay. You are a role model to everyone. You're your life is pretty much put out there because everyone wants to follow what you do and um, you just devote your time to giving back to your community and just being out there and getting to know everyone. It's awesome. Now Kayla, give us one beauty tip that you used before the pageant. What would that be? My main beauty tip would have to be a clay mask the night before for about 10 or 15 minutes. It really closes your pores and makes you look very healthy and fresh. You know, I've heard crazy beauty tips from the Vaseline on the lips, which I want to ask if that works. But Phoebe does even a crazier one. She puts coffee on her thighs and wraps her legs in cellophane. Can you believe that? <laughs> so let's see if the let's see if the um, the Vaseline on the teeth is really true. Is that is that true? Yes, you can actually use that because you are put on stage to put a constant smile. So sometimes you will get tired, but the Vaseline is there to help you remember that you need to keep that smile up. You know, we always talk about accessories, how important they are. And they really are on the fashion scene. Now, speaking of fashion, Oscar week is all about fashion. So I headed up to LA and did a little bit of reconnaissance. I went at, to the Biltmore Hotel. That's really where the Oscars began. You know, that's where the statuette was drawn, sketched out on a cocktail napkin in the ballroom of the hotel. It's also where Shirley Temple received her little bitty childlike Oscar. And from there I went to It's a Wrap. It's a Wrap touts itself as the world's only store where you can buy props and clothing used on television sets and movie sets. You know, things like Rocky's boxer shorts or like Pamela Anderson's swimsuit that she wore in Baywatch. And they all come with certificates of authenticity. But if you really want to see the stars in action, aisle action that is, head to Kitson's. Kitson's is a wonderful magnet for celebrities. Now, the last time I was there, Eva Longoria was there. She was buying shoes, and the paparazzi were in force. There were about a dozen of them outside, you know, trying to get pictures of Eva buying those shoes. But I think the creme de la creme is actually Lily in Beverly Hills. And honestly, they had the most beautiful vintage outfits. You won't believe it. Now, there are rules when you shop at Lily's, when you go in there. Now, first of all, don't expect a warm welcome. 
And absolutely don't ask to try anything on unless you're really serious about buying it. And don't handle the clothing by anything except the hangers. Now, it's worth all these rules, trust me, because it's where Renee Zellweger got her yellow dress that she wore to the 2001 Oscars. Now, if you head up to Beverly Hills yourself and you want to blend, I'm going to give you some tips. Ladies, wear those skinny jeans and carry an oversized bag, those five-inch pumps, and then men, jeans, and a black leather jacket will be perfect. Walk with attitude. And if you can, accessorize with a dog. I know it sounds silly, but I'm telling you, if you've got a dog in that oversized bag, you're going to fit in perfectly. And I guess I'll just end with, it's a wrap. For over 30 years, San Diego has trusted Maracal Design and Remodeling. One of the best decisions I've ever made was choosing Maracal for my remodeling needs. Maracal listened to our needs and then exceeded our expectations. Remodeling can be scary, but Maracal gave us peace of mind. Their team transformed our old kitchen into the new heart of our home. They created the home I've always wanted. Insist on quality and value. Call Maracal Design and Remodeling. I'm Gary Maracal. Trust your home to us. I'm Andy Friedenberg, the founder and director of the Cinema Society of San Diego and a proud member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. And when I'm not at the movies, I'm watching Live Fit Magazine. Hey, welcome back to Live Fit Magazine. We're here to check out Kelsey's gorgeous final look. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> and she lost and her. <laughs> Welcome back to Live Fit Magazine. This is one of my favorite parts. If you are starstruck, look who I got here. <laughs> the hey. one, the only. Oh, oh, excuse me. Ooh, yeah, you yeah. got to take those off. TV personality, yeah. Fred Saxon. Hey. Hi. Good Thanks for you. having me. You know, this show, I've wa had a chance to watch a couple of these shows. Great. Oh, well, great. You know what? You're going to make it even better. He's going to tell us I've got my list because I want to know all the inside scoop about the Hollywood stars and I know you've been spending a lot of time but your career has been how long now in Hollywood is it too long <laughs> it's too long isn't that, it that wasn't a hint <laughs> uh, it started in 1979 wow. I got to Hollywood in 79 I had been doing some uh, some celebrity interviews before that in Atlanta but I got to Hollywood in in uh, 79 started with CNN in 1980 uh, first entertainment reporter for the network and my career uh, from that point on was uh, seeing movies going to celebrity heavy parties uh, all kinds of openings and interviewing the stars well we're feeling really sorry for you fred <laughs> you know i had i really didn't appreciate what a good life i had until fairly recently and i look back at all the videos i've collected and I've, i have some 800 interviews on tape wow and all of the stars I had the great good fortune of, of meeting and spending time with, some more than others, some repeatedly. And it was just the, the best time, and I was so fortunate to be able to do that. And now I get a chance to share some of those with other people. Yeah, and we want to hear all about it. I um, am just looking over my list. I had so many different people when I was looking through the footage. I was like, mm -hmm. wow, how exciting. So tell me a little bit about Angelina Jolie. She's presenting, too, at the Oscars. Yes, she is. And Angelina is... Um, you know, she looks beautiful on screen, and a lot of people, I think it was Barbara Walters that said, when you see somebody who looks great on screen, don't tell them they look better in person or not as good in person, yes. because then they think, oh, well, what's wrong with me the other way? Mm -hmm. So um, I've been always careful to do that, but when I walked into, by the way, you look fabulous, oh. on and off <laughs> oh, screen. Thank you. Uh, when I When I walked into the room and Angelina was sitting there, it was, there was like a, a glow. I mean, I couldn't, and kind of took my breath away. Aww. And it was a, a, a great experience. She's very centered. She's very quiet. She's very peaceful. We talked about her child. That was when, at the time, she yeah. only had she only had one. But then, uh, a couple of months later, uh, I was in a hotel lobby in a, in Los Angeles. Angelina uh, walked across the lobby, and I was walking that way, and she was coming this way with a couple of her peeps. And uh, she said, "Oh, hi. What are you doing here?" which I thought was really cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm working. What are you doing here? And she said, uh, I'm here to do some interviews, blah, blah. But it was really kind of, oh, hi, what are you doing here? And another presenter, I believe, in the Oscars this year is Tom Cruise. What's he like? Tom Cruise. The first time I met Tom Cruise was on the red carpet in Los Angeles for a movie called Taps. He was co-starring with Timothy Hutton. He was very young. It was 19... 
80, 81, I think it was 19. Way back. Way back, and he was just starting out. And Tim Hutton was the big star. He had just won an Oscar for Ordinary People. So Tim is walking up, and I said, Tim, Tim, come over and talk to me, please. And so he, he kind of walked toward me, and I said, um, uh, I want to talk to you about the movie. And he said, before we get started, I want you to meet this young actor. He's really going to be a big star. His name is Tom Cruise. And I said, oh, hi, Tom. Nice meeting you. So, Tim, tell me about blah, blah. And I just blew off Tom like that, you know? Okay, kid. Uh-oh. And the next time I talked to Tom was for a movie called Minority Report, directed by Steven Spielberg. And I told him that story. And he really got a kick out of it. And I said, at the time, you were a little chubby, weren't you? And he said, chubby? No. And it, we talked a while about that. It was fun. He's a great guy. Tom Cruise is one of those, one of those stars that makes you feel more important than he is. Wow, that yeah. really says something. You know, one of my favorites, I, I just loved, speaking of Tom Cruise, Cuba Gooding Jr. Oh. That, he's, tell me a little bit about him. Cuba. Uh, I talked to Cuba shortly after he won the Oscar for uh, Jerry Maguire his role in Jerry Maguire, where he was saying, uh, remember his phrase from Jerry Maguire, his famous phrase? Show me the money. Show me the money. Mm -hmm. And everybody wanted Cuba to say, show me the money. And it was a challenge to try and get him to say that in an interview. So, um, I, and nobody could. He wouldn't say it. After he, after he did the Oscar thing, got the award, he wouldn't say, show me the money. And I thought, wow. <laughs> Fred Saxon can get him to say, show me the money. So I'm sitting there with him, and I'm nervously asking him sure. to say, show me the money. And he, uh, he didn't do it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not so good. <laughs> so Fred, I was saying earlier in the show that I went to the Oscars when Titanic won. Oh, yeah. And man, was that long. <laughs> I mean, I think I would have rather been in my pajamas at home. <laughs> probably longer than the voyage of the Titanic. Yeah, no kidding. But it was fun. I was appreciative. It was a great time. Walking the red carpet was a blast. But it's really not about the movies. No, it's not about the movies. I think it's more about the show, the pageantry. You get to see all the stars in their fine attire, whether it's rented or they bought it. Um, and you get to see the, you know, some, in this year, a great hosting job, I'm sure, by Billy Crystal. He's always good. And tell me a little bit, I want to close with this because we know Titanic is making its comeback in 3D. Yeah. That'll be interesting. Tell me about Leonardo DiCaprio. Well, I interviewed Leonardo DiCaprio for The Gangs of New York, a uh, Martin Scorsese directed picture. By the way, I really like Marty's work in a movie called Hugo. I hope that wins the Oscar. Right. I think it's the best movie of the year. Heard good things about it. But Leo, what impressed me the most about him was that he's such a thinking guy. He's very, very smart. And we talked about the, the history involved in the gangs of New York. And he, he knew the whole thing. It's not something we learned in school about what went on at that time. But Leo was really, really smart, calm, and, and funny, and uh, just very knowledgeable. That was very impressive to me, that he, that he really knew his stuff. Well, this is fascinating. I could go on and on with you. Thank you for taking the time out. Thanks for inviting it's me. It's so fun. <laughs> it's a great show. Thank you so much. Good to see you again, Fred. We're back in a minute with more. Well, when I'm not practicing my pageant wave, I'm watching Live Fit Magazine. Welcome back to Live Fit Magazine. We're here to check out Kelsey's final look. Are you ready? Yeah, absolutely. Look at the gorgeous finish look on Kelsey. Uh, makeup airbrushed by Sonia, and I did a old, uh, very, very classic uh, French twist on her. Ready for the Oscars? Hey, Haim, we're Oscar ready too. Take a look at our second look here. This is Megan. This is she's featuring a soft side curl updo with a natural eye and a dramatic lip, and she's Oscar ready for tonight. It's not often that I'm behind the bar because <laughs> you don't want to have me mixing up the drinks. That's what Gabrielle Clift is here with me for, and we are at Flavor at the Del Mar Plaza. Fantastic new place. Mm -hmm. What are you fixing us for Oscar parties? Well, a couple cocktails here that are perfect for an Oscar event. Um, of course, a little champagne in there because everybody drinks champagne at the Oscars. Uh, the first one that we'll do is a traditional champagne cocktail. Um, this is something they would have had maybe back in, you know, the golden days of Hollywood, and we still drink today. Uh, so we do a little sugar cube, 
Top that with just a dash of bitters. Uh, this is kind of herbaceous, brings out the flavor. Uh, and then you add a little cognac. Uh, this is actually a pear cognac, perfect for this time of year. Uh, just a little splash of that. Looking good. Oh yeah. And then we add our champagne, of course. Top this off, pour just a little at a time, so hopefully it doesn't overflow. Oop. Nice. And there Woo. it goes. But that's oh, okay. That, We're celebrating. It adds to the party, <laughs> We're right? We're celebrating. <laughs> All right. And what, you, what are you doing in this one? Okay. The next one is going to be a French martini. Um, this kind of a tribute to those French films out there. Uh, maybe I'm a fan of Midnight in Paris. That's up this Me year too, for an Oscar. Right? Uh, so we are going to take a little ice here in our shaker. Add vodka. Uh, about a full shot, which is an ounce and a half. Uh, then a raspberry liqueur. Any one will work. I like Chambord, pretty bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, about half a shot of that. Uh, and then we're going to add about a half a shot of pineapple juice. Wow, that'll be tasty. Oh, yeah. Take that. Give it a little shake. Make sure it's all cold. Okay. And I've actually rimmed this martini glass with sugar. Uh, just another little added level of sweetness. That looks beautiful, Gabriel. Oh, yeah. And throw a little cherry in there. Perfect. All right, <laughs> tell me about the third one. All right, the last one. Again, this goes back to classic Hollywood. Uh, take some mint. Uh, we're going to make just kind of a traditional mint julep. People think sometimes that muddled drinks are really difficult, but it's actually not. Just take some mint in there, give it a quick little muddle. Then we're going to add a little ice. I want to pack it full of ice. And then we are going to add a little simple syrup just equal parts sugar and water. If you're trying to count, uh, count the calories, an interesting little tip here, uh, use agave nectar. It's actually a lot healthier and tastes just as good. Uh, so after the mint and the simple syrup, we're gonna do a little uh, bourbon. This is a Blanton's bourbon. Nice, about two ounces of that because, you know, back in the golden days, they drank them strong, so. And top it with a little soda water. I like to add a fresh piece of lemon just to give it a little acid and give a little stir and we are ready to go. Now, of course, you can make any of these drinks without the alcohol Absolutely. and they're still fun and they're still party drinks Absolutely. if you want to go a little bit uh, lighter and cleaner and, and not have the alcohol. Definitely. For any of these, uh, with this one, you could just do soda water, of course, leave out the cognac, but just do the sugar and the soda water. Add a little cranberry juice, pomegranate juice, something like that. It's still pretty. And, uh, and it tastes delicious. Same thing here, instead of the vodka and the raspberry, just do pineapple juice, soda water, and then here as well, the soda water too. So yeah, it, it works just as well. Let's pass them out. All, All right. right. Looking like those Oscar drinks are a thumbs up. They're loving it, Gabrielle. Good. Thanks to Flavor. We appreciate you having us here at the Del Mar Plaza. As always, we're giving away some fantastic gifts. We're giving away gift certificates for lunch or dinner right here at Flavor. Trust me, I've eaten here. I love the food. You're going to love it too. You got to watch to win. I'm Phoebe Chong Chua. You are watching Live Fit Magazine. And we hope that if you like our show, that you'll spread the word and share. Subscribe to Live Fit Magazine on YouTube and find us on Facebook, facebook.com, Live Fit Magazine. See you on the next one. Win romantic getaways and prizes from Live Fit Magazine. A one night stay at the inn at Europa Village in Temecula, plus a gift basket filled with goodies and a bottle of wine. It's all aboard Hornblower Cruises. Live Fit Magazine is sending you on Hornblower's elegant dinner cruise or harbor tours. Love is in the air when she's wearing this beauty. It's an all diamond 14 karat gold bracelet. And our grand prize, a two night stay at the beautiful Hanua Kai Resort and Spa on the island of Maui. Winning is simple. Subscribe to Live Fit Magazine on YouTube. Then like Live Fit Magazine on Facebook. Post the winning phrase, I live fit, live well, live it up with Live Fit Magazine under this show on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. And you'll be entered into a drawing to win one of the fabulous prizes. We'll notify you on the Live Fit Magazine Facebook page and YouTube channel. Rules, restrictions, and blackout dates apply. See details on livefitmagazine.com. <laughs>